Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody had a good start to their new year. Um, mine's been kind of difficult because I've been down with the flu for the last couple days, but uh, I'm feeling a little bit better. And uh, I'm still working and everything, but uh, I wanted to get on here and talk about uh, Solanus got a new patent yesterday. They were granted a patent for uh, some new drone technology for off-roading with Jeeps. And I thought it was really interesting. It's something that's not new information necessarily because Jeep has been publicly talking about this since 2021. And I'll go back to and show you their EV Day 2021 presentation that actually showcases this technology. But it's just one step further for it to be, um, you know, hit, hitting the market, which could be soon. I mean, we're, we're looking at... They were teasing in the um, teaser trailer back in 2021 that it could be 2025. Well, it is 2025. They got the patent for it. But realistically, we're looking at 2030. But this stuff is coming soon. So we're going to see drone technology to help off-roaders in Jeep vehicles very soon. How weird is that? So I wanted to go through the patent real quick. Like I said, I'm, I got the video all keyed up and everything, but I wanted to go through this patent that I found. And as you can see here, it was issued yesterday, January 2nd, 2025. And it, what it is is the method to control a vehicle as a function of data from a vehicle-based drone. So basically, there's a couple pr premises in this whole long um, you know, patent. This patent was filed back in 2023, June 30th. But what it does is it, it shows like a couple different things that drone capability could do for off-roading. One is autonomous driving, okay? So this drone can be launched and actually go out and help map where um, the vehicle needs to go and actually send data back to the vehicle, allowing it to know like inclines, um, you know, declines, how different, uh, you know, trail conditions ahead, weather conditions, um, can send the, basically the vehicle itself a bunch of data that it needs to do to make sure that it's capable of performing a function. Another thing that it could do is if you're driving the vehicle, it could also, you can deploy the drone and the drone can actually go out and actually um, help you with rock climbing and stuff because there might be certain angles that you need spotting and stuff on and the drone can go out and send the vehicle all this data that you can have and have the vehicle, um, you know, follow your footsteps, but actually get, you know, you have your terrain mapped out for you. So if, let's say you're off-road, you're at Moab, you're off off the beaten path, and you're rock climbing, and you, you're you not sure about what's coming up ahead, you can send this drone up, it will tell you, like, you know, like, it's, again, weather conditions, all this stuff, relay the information back to the vehicle, come back and land, or it can fly, if, depending on what, you know, how long it, it's in, uh, you know, flight mode for, and can actually help you with different angles, camera angles, send different information back to the vehicle to help you get out of the situation that you're in. So there's a lot of different premises to this, but for the most part, this is for, um, you know, basically the vehicle driving itself is the big thing. This is like the huge thing. It's not just having, you know, your information at the, you know, at the palm of your hands on your, on your Uconnect system, but it's actually about having self, you know, autonomous driving. Uh, so, like, if you walk a trail and you leave your vehicle behind, you can contact your vehicle and the drone will follow you and tell you where your vehicle, or tell the vehicle where you're at. It can come get you. It can do all that kind of stuff. So, it's, it, there's still some stuff that has to be, um, I'm sure, developed. But overall, the patent was granted because of how they're using the drone technology. And this isn't new, like I said, this isn't new news. Um, Jeep actually teased this back in 2017. You might remember the Jeep Safari concept. It was a JK-based Wrangler concept vehicle for the Easter Jeep Safari. But what that vehicle showed us not was not only the kind of a teaser of what the 2018 JL would look like with the grill design, but it shows a couple different things. The first one was the drone up on board, like up on top of the roof. And the th funny part about that was, was this drone was just for looks. It wasn't like a real working drone. It was just something that was, you know, tied up to the roof to make it look like a drone. Um, but the whole premise was that could be deployed and go get information from the trail ahead and come back and land on top of the vehicle. Uh, we're seeing that this will probably be something similar to that. And then uh, also that concept showed <laughs> something that has nothing to do with this patent was uh, a, basically a sealed greenhouse of the vehicle, kind of like today's vehicle, but with a more open glass. So you, it was more of a, you sit there inside the vehicle in the confinements of the vehicle, 
but it was a more open experience because, you know, there was glass, like this huge glass greenhouse around the vehicle. So those were the big things about the concept, but the drone technology was the big thing that got a lot of attention back in 2017. So we see 2017 and 2021 being real points of time that Jeep has said, hey, we're going to do stuff with drone technology. So let's go back and look at, um, you know, the video. I kind of keyed it to where it's supposed to be. And let's look at the video and see uh, how this technology is going to apply to Jeep going forward. Uh, in the video, they say, like, again, it's it's the technology should be available in 2025. Um, it is 2025, but realistically, we're probably going to see this kind of tech sometime in 2030. Um, I'm sure it's got to get dialed out, but we should be able to start seeing this tech evolve here pretty quick as vehicles are getting more and more, uh, you know, based on electricity components and more technology is being put in them. This drone technology is going to become more of an asset to them. So let's take a look at what the Jeep said back in 2021. Our past is a proud one. One thing I just realized is I'm probably not going to be able to play this whole video just because of the music and getting censored on YouTube. But what I'll go through is I'll show you. So this is like July 2021. Now it's July 2025. So four years later, which is this year. And it shows this couple basically they're, you know, getting connected with their Jeep. It shows this Jeep uh, Wrangler. That's really cool. It's, it shows like a heads up display. It says bio recognition. And basically it's the Magneto concept, but it says freedom on the side. So it's dressed up a little different. But it shows all these people, like, now there's going to be peer-to-peer -peer charging, which they've already started to do with the Jeep box. And now you can see the Jeep drone pairing. So there's a drone out in front of the Jeep, and you can see that, you know, they said this technology is coming soon. Um, and then what we're going to see by 2030 is you can see here that they're off-roading. Now all of a sudden the vehicle's taking off. And thanks to that drone capability... The vehicle will, you can be able to like hike down your favorite trail. And this guy's like, what the heck's going on? The Jeep's driving itself. You'll be able to control the vehicle. Like it'll follow you. Kind of like how like DJI drones kind of like, you know, can follow your path. Well, the drone technology will re relay the information back to the Wrangler or Gladiator or whatever vehicle it is. And actually, um, you know, make it so you, the vehicle will show up where you're at. So it's, it's got some premises to it that still have to be worked out and whatnot, but uh, it's got a lot of possibilities and uh, premonition that, you know, we're going to see a lot more drone technology in these off-road vehicles from Jeep. Jeep has really been pushing this whole thing about drones. It's going to open up a whole new world for, you know, data breaches, um, you know, a whole bunch of different things with, you know, hacking and stuff, I'm sure. So they're going to have to work their butts off on it, but... It uses, you know, drones use LiDAR, radar, just like autonomous vehicles do. So it makes sense that they are going to be helping with the vehicle in different off-road terrains. So if we go down this, this article that I, I wrote, uh, of course, you can see the drone here. You know, it's the, it shows it here coming off the hood. We don't know where it's going to be. On the 2017 Jeep Safari concept, it was, like, bolted to the roof. Not bolted, but strapped to the roof. This could happen... Here, this one shows it coming in from the uh, ground out front. We don't know if you're going to have to, you can deploy it from the uh, roof of the vehicle. We don't know if you're going to be able to deploy it. You get out and put it on the ground. We don't know. It does not say in this in this patent. But it says that you will be able to navigate this drone autonomously through your Uconnect infotainment system. So that's what the that's what this actual patent says, that everything is going to be based off of the Uconnect system. Uh, we don't know if it's going to be you. It doesn't say if it's going to be UConnect five. It doesn't say if it's going to be UConnect six. Realistically, I would see it as the next generation of UConnect systems. Um, so how the drone in integration works is there's, like I said, the drone actually sends information to the cloud or to the vehicle, and it can actually send it back to the vehicle while the vehicle's on the move or stationary. It's very simple. It's just like how the internet works with our smartphones. Um, but it basically relays everything back to the vehicle and then uses the Uconnect system as a um, 
you know, kind of a, the computer to control everything. A lot of people are going to be like, you know, what kind of data is it collecting? Well, it's going to collect primary navigational data. That's from the vehicle itself. And then it's going to collect secondary navigational data, which is from the drone and its surroundings. So, um, and then we're going to have autonomous drone control. So the drone is going to be controlled by the vehicle control system, or it can be controlled manually by the operator using the Uconnect system. I don't know if it's going to be, they never said anything about if it's going to be uh, other than the Uconnect system. I don't know if you could probably use the Uconnect app, I would assume, to control the drone. So it's going to be collecting data from the environment and relaying it back to the vehicle. And then it's going to have real-time feedback. So apparently if you look at your Uconnect screen or if you, let's say, if it has some kind of, um, you know, connection to the Uconnect app, you'll be able to see real-time video and uh, images to help you with your navigation ahead. So you can see, like, here, here's this Wrangler coming up across the crest. You don't see this bump when you're coming across, but the drone does. So what it will do is it will come back over see this send a signal to the vehicle and let the vehicle know what's what the obstacle is ahead before the vehicle even sees it they said in the video that this will come out you know like roughly july 2025 it is 2025 now um sorry to think that it is but t technically i doubt that this technology will come out this year um more realistically it could become a reality in around 2030 I would say like five more years to develop it and get it like in place with the laws and stuff like that. But uh, you know, autonomous driving is getting more and more advanced. We are seeing Tesla with the Robo uh, Taxi, uh, you know, the net new Dodge Charger, Wagoneer S, even the Ram 1500 net now have level three, um, you know, autonomous driving capabilities. Pretty soon we're going to see level four. They've Stellantis has been working on that since 2017. Actually, before it was Stellantis, it was Fiat Chrysler. They've been working on that for a long time. And we've seen multiple versions of, um, you know, vehicles out testing uh, with, you know, autonomous capability already. So they are working on it. I've seen uh, them working on a Pacifica back in 2018. I caught them uh, testing a Pacifica with autonomous capability back then. I've seen uh, a Grand Cherokee L with a huge uh, top on it doing uh, autonomous capability. I've seen a normal Jeep Grand Cherokee with autonomous cap capability. We've, we're also seeing them over in Europe testing. So the, the technology for level four autonomous capability for Jeeps and Chryslers and Dodge and, and Rams is coming very soon. Tell me what you think down below of what you think about this technology. Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's something that if as a Jeep enthusiast, do you do you think you would like you know enjoy having this kind of do, like technology at your hands and fingertips? And how do you like see having autonomous off-road capability? Do you, is that I mean is that for you? Are you the one that wants to sit back and let the Jeep do everything for yourself, or are you the kind of person that's hands-on, off-roading, and that's what you enjoy? Because it seems like we're gonna have uh, most of the people that are hardcore off-roaders like to enjoy, you know going off-road and tackling a, a certain destination, you know, and doing it themselves. I don't know how well they'd like to do it with, you know, something doing it autonomously. So leave your comments below. Make sure to hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.